Hello and welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to bring you all the latest news concerning Manchester United. It is less than 24 hours to the FA Cup final, Manchester United versus Manchester City at Wembley Stadium tomorrow. And it is disgraceful what the English media has been doing to us for the past 48 to 24 hours. Because honestly, it's been a pile on the fans, mixed emotions, we don't know which is fake, we don't know which is real. Our focus as fans should be on the FA Cup final. But yet, we are here talking about Eric Ten Hag because I'm going to give you different news from different journalists about the future of Eric Ten Hag because right here, right now, the rumor is that Eric Ten Hag is sacked already. And whatever happens in the, in the FA Cup final does not matter. He is sacked. So let's get straight into everything. I'm going to start with Fabrizio Romano because Fabrizio Romano has been seeing this since was 50-50 previously because he said... The possibility of United and Eric Hag parting ways after the FA final is concrete. United have already started contact with other managers should it happen. The fact that United are already speaking to other managers, that means Eric Hag is done. And that is just the honest truth. Because if you really want to keep him, you wouldn't have feel the need to sack, um, to, to talk to other managers. The FA Cup final shouldn't be the reason why you keep him or you sack him. So since they are already speaking to other managers... It means he's gone because no matter what happens in the, in the FA Cup final, I don't think that one match is going to determine Eric Ten Hag's future. So to me, Eric Ten Hag is gone. It's coming from another journalist, a Norwegian journalist. He said Eric Ten Hag was a week. Eric Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag was told a week before Arsenal game uh, 19 days ago that he would be sacked at the end of the season. Interesting. And this is from another journalist from the Guardian. He says, um, breaking news, Man United have already decided to sack Eric Ten Hag after the, Cup, after the FA Cup final against Manchester City. A well-placed source said that even winning the FA Cup wouldn't save Ten Hag. Now, this is from ESPN, Rob Dowsing. He says, Eric Ten Hag has turned down the opportunity to discuss vacant Bayern position due to his interest to stay at United. Informal discussions with Thomas Tuchel, Mauricio Pochettino, Kerian McKenna and Thomas Frank have already taken place. Interesting. If it's from another journalist also, if my United and Eric Ten Hag part ways, it is unlikely to happen right after the FA Cup final. And then from Sky Sports News, we got yesterday that my United have met with Kremikana's representative in in case they decide to replace Eric Ten Hag after the FA Cup final. So with all these different reports, it's safe to say Eric Ten Hag is gone. Is gone, and it is disappointing because it's just the same episode all over again. Fine. Uh, Louis Van Hal was won the FA Cup and was sacked the next day. Uh, it's not a surprise. So the same thing is going to happen to Ten Hag. Even if we win it, even if we lose it, he's still gone. So it's the same thing. Rinse and repeat as United. We get a, ma- a manager. He stays for two to three years. We sack him. We don't identify the real problems before sacking the manager. We just sack the manager. And that's it. So leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about Eric Ten Hag potentially or highly likely to be sacked? Probably next week, probably on Sunday, probably on Monday, probably on Tuesday. But it's definitely coming because me, if you have watched my previous video, you know that I'm all in for Eric Ten Hag to stay. Um, of course, we just hope that we can get someone. Although the, the, the replacements we are get the manager, managers who are being linked with is disgraceful. I'm not really interested in Thomas Tuchel, uh, Mosho Potetino, Kerry McKenna, still young, still inexperienced. I don't want Thomas Frank. He, he did a great job at um, Brentford, but I don't think he... Is right man to replace um, Eric Ten Hag. So, what are our options? Because Ten Hag is going to go. So, I'm very sure many of you watching this video right now are really happy about that news because I know that I've come across a lot of people that want him to go. And also, we know that there are many of us also who want him to stay because we know that the problem isn't just about the manager. It is way more than that. And it will be absolutely disgraceful if after sacking Ten Hag, you don't give many of all these players the same treatment. And at the end of the day, it, it, it would be practically impossible to treat them like that because the players have more power at the end of the day. These, these guys are under contract. They have been giving stupid wages. Many clubs might not really want to buy these players. So they have the power. So if they want to stay, they will stay. So right here, right now, we're making the same mistake we've making for the past 13, 10 years about sacking the same, sacking managers and not identifying the problems with the players, with the structure and every other thing. But maybe the structure is coming now. But what, what we are hearing is they want a younger manager that can work under the board 
and we don't really have too much say concerning things that happen um, with the squad and rest. And that's not what we want. We want a manager who is strong, who is firm, who is experienced, who is world class or have the potential to be world class and who have a mind of his own and who is not afraid to speak out and get things done for himself. But if you get someone who's going to be a, you know, it's a, what they call it? A yes man. You want this, I'll give this player, yes sir, yes sir. You must say this player, yes sir, yes sir. That is just going to be the same failure as United. And the worst part about this thing is that the Glazers are still here. Many of us have forgotten, oh, the Indians are here, but the Glazers are still here. So it, the Glazers' influence is still here. The Glazers' actions are still here. What the Glazers have been doing is still being done. Everything is, everything is going on slowly so far. Maybe when the, when after the FA Cup final, we might get some fast deals being done. But the main thing is, if you sack Eitenago after a sack Eitenago, will you treat the same players that has been here for years and have failed for years? Will you treat them the same way you treat Eitenago? Will you make sure that you push them out? Because honestly, the way the team has been treated, the way Eitenago has been treated by the media is disgraceful. Fine, you can release this news after the FA final, not 24 hours before. Right here, right now, new reports are coming in about Eretan being sacked. And we have a game tomorrow to play, the FA Cup final, which is very important for everybody. But yet, here we are talking about Eretan being sacked. We have a final to play tomorrow. And if we win the FA Cup tomorrow, that is Eretan winning two cup in two years. Tell me when last that happened. Two cup in two years, no matter how bad we have been, no matter how shit we have been, Two cups in two years. The first cup he gave us in one in the last five years. Now he can give us two two cups in six years. But even if we lose, even if we lose the final tomorrow, he took us to two finals. Still something. Considering how shit we we are, considering the how poorly the, the club has been run, and yet people who, who who push for him to be given more time are made to look like fools because yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, he's not good enough and blah, 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 blah. Where were you last season when we were doing very well? So one season is enough to sack him. Or you think Chelsea sacking Pochettino was a good idea? It wasn't. Because now, everything starts all over again. And as long as you don't sell enough players, it is not really a rebuild. Because if we still have a lot of the same players next season, that is not a rebuild. Whether you have a new coach and every other thing. Once you don't have less, once you don't sell enough players, that's not going to be a rebuild. It's just going to be the same thing because that poor mentality can still be can still infect the new players we get in. And that's probably what happened already because it's the mentality in the United dress room that that has always been transferred to from player from generation to generation or from for season by season. So you can get a good player that comes in now and in two years that player is poor. It is rotten because the mentality in the dressing room is very poor. And when you come in fresh and ready to go, after some few years you get infected. And it turned like every other person. But, that's what's coming out today. The is highly likely to be so, it's, it's highly likely to be sacked from tomorrow after the pick up final. Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Keep, keep your eyes out for that. And potential replacements. Kerry McKenna of Ipswich. Mauricio Pochettino. Thomas Tuchel. Thomas, um, Frank. Those are the front runners for the job at United. Let's see what happens. But to me, like I said, I'm not happy about this, but I will, I will be fine and I will deal with it. And whenever we get a new manager, of course, I have to back the manager and I have to back the team. As long as we don't get, as long as we don't get, uh, get Southgate, I'm fine. As, uh, as long as we don't get Potter also, I think I'll be fine. But let's see what happens. And I'm wishing the team very, I'm wishing the team good luck tomorrow because, you know, the FA Cup final, Man City is the best team in England. Uh, but, you know, it's football and anything can happen. Once we have the right mentality and we stick to the game plan, Maybe you can get something out of the game tomorrow. So let's see what happens.